Hello, what's up? Welcome back to Let Go With Luna. I'm Kat, your host, founder of The Simplified Life. And in these videos, we talk about either the new moon or the full moon and how that energy impacts simplifying our lives and our homes. So we're gonna go through the themes, how to apply that to your home. We'll do a little tarot poll. We'll get you in and out in about 10 minutes. Sound good? Cool. So. The Pisces full blue super moon with seven planets in retrograde. There's a lot going on right now. Um, full moon in Pisces. I'm a Pisces. You're in your feels. We're all in our feels. Pisces is all about our feels, our psychic connections, all the things going on behind the scenes. Uh, if you want to think about it in correlation to your home, uh, it's like what's in your closets, what's in the basement, what's up in the attic, what are the parts and the bits that people don't see? So we're coming into this culmination. We've been talking about that all summer. This time period right now is really the culmination of cycles. We started back in 2020. Um, far better astrologers out there, you can go and <laughs> look them up and see why. But if you have felt like you've just been building and building and fixing and doing and making these tiny shifts and everything, and it's just not quite happening yet, buckle up, it's happening. So this is the starting point, the kicking off point, the jumping off point, whatever resonates with you. This is it. This is the time. All that work you've been doing is going to pay off and it's going to pay off big and huge. We're closing out August. They're literally harvesting grapes behind me. Um, this is the fruits of our labor coming to fruition, culmination, that big, huge, bright energy up in the sky. And Another big part of that is our psychic gifts, is our metaphysical leaning. So if you've been noticing things, seeing synchronicities, seeing those angel numbers, those multiples of whatever number, um, if you've been thinking about someone and then they call or think about an item and it shows up in your Instagram feed and you didn't even say it out loud and it wasn't Siri or Alexa that heard you, like that is part of this time right now. Uh, I'm a Pisces. I see a lot of things probably other people don't see and use this time to be able to lean into that because it is a superpower when you can use your intuition to guide what you're doing in life it's huge it's like you got to phone a friend but like the great cosmic friend in the sky who's like no do this do this do this so use this full moon to be grateful for all that work that you've done and excited for this future, but also just use it for tapping into all these gifts and powers that are available to you. And then we also have all these planets. I think there's seven in retrograde right now, which is insane. I think Mercury just went retrograde. We've been um, in Venus retrograde for a while. <laughs> How are your relationships? <laughs> if you haven't killed each other yet, you're doing great. Um, <clears throat> so with retrogrades that's more introspection that's looking back all summer long we were talking about all of these chances to revisit past experiences past relationships past people and it might be with the actual people it might be someone you're casting into that role to recreate that scenario so you can actually heal it this time but this pisces this is all about feeling it to healing it the only way out is through and you're just getting this last little boost here of like, okay, that did not go how we wanted it to go, right? But now what choices would I make? What would I say to that person? What would I do in this situation? And you're getting to have that confidence of knowing that no matter what happened in the past, you can always make a different choice. You can always do it differently, do it better, whatever that looks like for you. Uh, so those are the themes of what's going on. So how do we apply that to our homes, to our lives, to simplifying? Basically, this is the energy to do the thing. So you've been making all these little changes, these little micro moves in your life, saying the different thing, doing the different thing, but now it's supercharged. There's all this extra energy because you've been training, because you've been working out all these new muscles in a sense, you have the strength to actually do it now. So maybe you were planning big changes in your home or in your life, but now you have the strength to actually do it. You've done the work. This is the go time. Um, what else? <sighs> Thinking about your home. Your home does reflect yourself. Full moon, illumination. This is shining a giant ass spotlight on anything that's still in your home that is not 
relevant to who you are now. So if there's been all of these changes or all these things you've been wanting to change, this is making it glaringly obvious. Okay, maybe that couch in there is from an ex and you don't wanna look at it ever again. Maybe those clothes were from a specific time in your life and you are done. Maybe you got a redo on that in the last couple months, but you are done. Those clothes need to go. Donate them, let someone else have that energy. Everything we touch has our energy in it. It has the energy of the time and place and space where we used that item. If it didn't, we would all just throw the shit away, right? So there is a tie, a draw with our things and the energy that connects us to them. So right now this is shining that bright light. You cannot ignore it any longer. It is time to get it out, get it gone if it's no longer serving you. Um, it's looking at what is truly important. This is authenticity. This is listening to, again, that intuition that's saying like, no, you actually hate the color green. Why do you have that in your house? No, you really don't like those people. Why are you hanging out with them? That is sucking your energy. Why are you doing this? You don't like Victorian style, but your great grandmother gave you all this stuff. Why is it still in your home? Who could actually benefit from it? So using this illumination, looking into the shadows and all the dark recesses, remember the attic, the basement, the closets of the house, using that to finally move forward, harvesting all that energy, moving forward as we go into fall, as you truly want to be. You have the whole power of the cosmos behind you right now. So time to do that. Um, again, shadows, retrogrades are all about that shadow self. Pisces is about looking at that shadow, looking into the darkness, not being afraid of it. Every bit of everything we've all ever done just is. There's no good or bad to it. It's the meaning we give to it. So maybe you think you really fucked something up, right? <laughs> did you? Does it really matter? Or did it teach you a really good lesson? If you look back on your life, would you take away all those hard things or all those messed up things? Or did they actually get you to where you want to be right now or on your way at least to where you want to be? Um, I've had plenty of tough times. I wouldn't change any of them. So thinking about that. So let's, I think that's all I want to say. Yeah, culmination. This is the go time. Use that energy to get it gone. Whatever is still in your house or in your life, simplify it. There's so much going on. We don't really have the mental bandwidth to be wasting our precious time and energy on things that don't matter to us. So what do you actually like? What do you actually love? Do it. You got this. Like, you totally got this. So we're going to pull a tarot card. Uh, it's always intuitive tarot. I will give you my impression of the card. We'll read the book, and then you'll be on your way. Make sure you go outside tonight. She's going to be gorgeous. I saw her coming up yesterday, and it was oh, amazing. Justice. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> light in the dark. Shadow. <laughs> Shadow and the light. So again, culmination, the full moon, it is shining that light on everything that was dark. You can't hide from it anymore. You have to make the choice. This card's called justice. Um, it's not necessarily punitive. It could be karma. Um, make your choice. Neither are actually good or bad, but you have to make one. You have to choose. So choose the one with love. Choose the one that gives you energy. Choose the one that puts your gifts out into this world. There is only one of you. One. That's it. Eight billion people, and there is one of you watching this right now on YouTube. <laughs> like, how freaking cool is that, right? So you were made perfectly you with gifts only you have choices only you can make and we need you and your gifts right now okay so i'll give you the official here decisions and karma with tails intertwined two cats look directly at you waiting for you to choose between them which is right and which is wrong the justice card implies a weight or heaviness surrounding a choice you have to make. Now is not the time to shun the concept of divine balance or karma. All of your choices affect your life and sometimes the lives of those around you, both now and in the future. 
And so again, it, it will impact you. These choices will. And this is your invitation, your opportunity to walk through that door to the big light, big old shiny thing in the sky. Use that energy. Do what you are here to do. If you're watching this, you're probably a healer. You're probably pretty tuned in. And the world definitely needs you right now. All right. Love you guys. Please click subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. It does help other people see this. I hope it helped. Leave a comment if it did. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'm most active there. Would love to say hi. And I'll see you in the next video for the new moon. All right. Bye.